fresh off of the Monday night gridiron last night with another touchdown in his uh, in his stat uh, line last night for the 4-0 Green Bay Packers. Aaron Jones back here on the show. How you been, Showtime? I've been good. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. No, of course. You know how I feel about you, and I just love watching you succeed. And as a matter of fact, I had that conversation with Aaron Rodgers on this show just a couple of weeks ago, and I mentioned your name to him, and he's got a front row seat watching you run away from him and watching you uh, be targeted by him uh, and asked him what it's been like for him. He called you one of his best and favorite teammates since he's been a pro. Aaron, what did that mean to you? Uh, that meant a lot. Uh, that's, that's special to me. Um, I mean, you know, how many guys he's played with and how many teammates he's had and to feel that way about me. And um, I just I just uh, don't want to let him down, come in every day ready to work and continue to grind so uh, he can – keep that thought of me yeah when you say you don't want to let him down what what is that dynamic uh expound on that a little bit for me if you don't mind aaron jones what do you mean uh, by that? Uh, i just want to be be a playmaker for him um any any ball thrown my way i want to catch and um help this help the offense any way i can and um so whatever that whatever that means uh i just want to be a playmaker and um i think when when he sees that you're a playmaker and that you you're ready to work and you want to learn and listen and um grow your game he's, he's he's ready to work with you well i mean it, it seems that way you know i could see him at times last night um you know uh giving a a, a rah rah attaboy to a lot of people on the field tanyan in particular um the way that he shined out and I, i'm wondering if that is your feeling about not wanting to let aaron down and being a playmaker for him it's contagious on this team Oh yes, sir. It definitely is contagious. And um, Bobby, uh, kudos to Bobby. Congrats to Bobby because he's been he's been working hard ever since he's he's gotten here. And um, he's been a playmaker. Um, I say I tell people go cut on his college film. He, he's in a lot of one on ones, just making plays, catching balls. And um, so he he's done the same thing. Came in um, wanting to work, wanting to learn, wanting to grow and uh, elevate his game. And um, Aaron Aaron seen that in him as well. And we, he, he takes guys like that under his wing, and he, he uh, helps us grow as players. And another thing that you have a front row seat for, you had last night, I want to ask you, because I overheard it, I heard it. Aaron Rodgers got the Falcons jumping off sides using a hard count, but using the words hard count as his hard count. That happened last night, right, Aaron? Uh, yes, sir. I, I mean, I didn't hear exactly what he said. I was just watching the ball, so I made sure I didn't jump. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious like it, it, it's difficult for you guys not to jump when he hard counts even though you probably know it's coming oh it definitely is i mean his his voice sounds so all of all of his cadences so if he's going on three um his first set hut will sound the same as the second set hut is the third and so you gotta really sit in there and lock in and he could tell you in the huddle it's on three, and you get to the line, and his voice just sells it so much, you, you'd be convinced it's on one. So you really just got to lock in. <laughs> so essentially what you're saying, Aaron Jones, is that you know from the man himself, from his own mouth, what the snap is going to be on three, and that his hard count is so good it makes you second guess whether you heard it right in the huddle. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. <laughs> definitely <laughs> definitely that is amazing that is truly again remarkable and so again is your is your team um 17 out of 20 since the head coach has come in what has matt lafleur done for you with you that you that you can tell me about aaron jones um uh, he, he's came in and he's really opened up the offense for uh, me and not only me but uh the rest of the backs and uh just giving us a chance to make plays and in the receiving game and the passing game, uh, be a versatile part of the offense and use us in many different ways. Um, so Coach LaFleur d does a great job of scheming things up and getting guys open as well. And I uh, I love playing for him and appreciate everything he's done for me. Aaron Jones here on the Rich Eisen Show. Okay, we've reached the health and safety part uh, of this. First, you. Uh, and I ask this on behalf of all fantasy owners of, of Aaron Jones, including my 12-year-old son, Xander, who uh, got uh, genuinely concerned in the second quarter last night when uh, there were not a lot of snaps for you. Aaron, are, is everything okay? What happened last night? How are you personally feeling, Aaron Jones? Oh, I'm feeling good. Everything was okay. Uh, they just said they were going to start off the series with somebody else, and um, that was it. And no, just waiting for my number to be called again. Okay. Well, I got a lot of dad points last night when I said I will ask Aaron Jones himself tomorrow, uh, Zan. You know, that's a, that's a good dad point thing. 
for me, so I appreciate that. <laughs> but honestly, when my son looks at me and he says to me, Dad, how's Aaron Jones doing? Um, I like that. It's kind of cool. I'll take it. Hey, that, that is pretty cool. <laughs> and Tell I, him I said what's up. I, I, I will do that. More dad points. He's handing out dad points to me. Aaron Jones here. Uh, and then uh, health and safety. You're on a bye week now. And this is the concerning aspect about uh, the pandemic and COVID-19 that uh, the entire league had been uh, concerned uh, about this year is what happens in a bye week. So what? where are you going? Where are your teammates going to be? What is this bye week for you going to be about on that health and safety front what can you tell me aaron uh, we're not allowed to leave town so all of my teammates and me will be staying here in town uh, okay i'll be at home uh we'll come in tomorrow what's tomorrow wednesday yep come in tomorrow and after tomorrow uh, we'll have thursday friday saturday off sunday as well and um but the facility will still be open and so I'll probably just relax at home. Um, my fa- I have my, some of my family in town, so I'll relax with them and come and get some workout in it and uh, eat some free food. Uh, if it's free, it's me. So nicely done. Um, kind of <laughs> still on your first contract, are you? Hanging out a little bit. It's still on your first contract, are you, Aaron? Is that basically uh, what you're yes, saying? Yes, sir. Still am. <laughs> <laughs> as free as me, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, but uh, so you will not be, and the rest of your teammates um, who are uh, not required, I guess, due to whatever injuries or banged up. You you are free to be away from the facility Thursday through Sunday, or do you have to come in and get tested every day still? Uh, we definitely have to come in and get COVID tested still okay. every day. So you're still going to be tested I, I every day. I left that part out. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. That's, well, it's a crucial part. You, you, I mean, you know where I'm driving at here, that, and what that's I'm the what biggest I, part. <laughs> you know what I'm aiming at. So what what did? Because uh, again, uh, anybody who's who's paying attention to this knows that uh, COVID nineteen is spiking in green bay specifically right now it's the hospitals in green bay need help they need they need people to also uh mask up and and treat this virus seriously what what has your coach told you what what is what what was the i guess message after the win last night on this front aaron uh his message is just be smart about everything you do you know um like you said uh green bay is the hot spot, number one hot spot here. Like you said, the hospitals are at 100% capacity. Um, mm. So just be careful what you do. With, like when you're going to the gas station, if you're pumping gas, put on some gloves or have hand sanitizer. Um, keep your hands out of your face and your mouth. Really kind of just stay at home. Um, and um, you want some food, order it or um, come to the facility, those kind of things. And, you know, you. And he also reminds us that um, all of us have families at home that we have to go to and, um one person makes a, a bad decision and it could affect everybody else and their family members as well. So to just keep, keep your teammates and your brothers in mind as well. Okay, Aaron. Well, uh, I'm keeping you in mind as well. I just love watching you do what you do um, and you keep doing it. Uh, it's, it's just really great to see. And um, every Packer fan that watches you uh, puts so much hope into you. And uh, if I may, the other Aaron, uh, it means a lot. You mean a lot to a lot of people. So just keep doing what you do. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. That means a lot. Thank if, you. You got it. You take care of yourself. And, you know, I, I like our regular chats. I think it's like once every three weeks now. This is great. Me too. I, I think we need to make it a thing. I, I, okay. I'm enjoying it. Me too. Right back at you. You take care of yourself, Aaron Jones. Yes, sir. Thank you. you. That's Aaron Jones right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Good people. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.